How is Westboro Baptist Church like other Calvinists? Are they very similar or very different than other Calvinists? A lot of people consider Westboro Baptist Church to be very unique, and indeed they are. So how are they different than other Calvinists? Namely, the way they are different than other people in general. The very facts that make them unique are what makes them different than other Calvinists. Not your run-of-the-mill Calvinist is going to funerals and picketing. Not your run-of-the-mill Calvinist is picketing in general or having websites with God hates this or God hates that. But in a lot of ways, they're very similar. So think of it like a Venn diagram. The way WBC is and the way Calvinists are. And they have some differences, but in the middle, there's these similarities. I've been listening to and reading a lot of Calvinist stuff lately. I download sermons from SermonAudio.com, for example. I listen to Calvinists such as Trevor Hammock, Paul Washer, and the like. And I've read some John Piper stuff a little bit. So how are they both alike? Number one, they both are strongly against Arminianism, which is basic evangelical Christianity. That's not Calvinist. They both consider it heresy and apostasy. They believe Arminianism is false teachings of the Bible. Trevor Hammock, for example, all the time calls it heresy. And Fred Phelps says that, as Westboro Baptist Church does. A lot of what Westboro Baptist Church overshadows the similarity they have in common with other Calvinists because the stuff is so outrageous. But some of their other stuff, like their views on Arminianism as heresy, is shared by other Calvinists. Also, other Calvinists tend to think that the typical evangelical are what they call Bible illiterate. That's a phrase Trevor Hammock, for example, uses all the time. I'm not saying he's anything like Westboro Baptist Church. He's many, many ways different, but I'm showing the similarities. Fred Phelps and his crew at Westboro Baptist Church are all the time saying that nobody knows their Bible. And other Calvinists say that is the case because the evangelicals are very soft on Bible teaching. Trevor Hammock, for one, all the time talks about how they don't teach any Bibles. They just want to entertain and make you feel good. And that's what Westboro Baptist Church talks about. It, they, their anti-sodomy campaigns overshadow this, but that is part of their message as well. Additionally, they both condemn the easy salvation of Arminianism. Fred Phelps, in the movie Hate Mongers, mentioned how Billy Graham's crusades are a false way to convince people of getting saved because it's so easy all you have to do is say a prayer and Paul Washer had a sermon about how he believed it was too easy to just say a prayer he said it's not like a shot